Today, we're going to be taking out the new 22250 bolt action rifle, and we're going to be hunting for the coyote for the first time ever. Ooh, there we go. We just found a whole pack of coyotes out here. We're talking about 350 yards out. I can't even really spot it out there. Ooh, that's a nice looking coyote, though. That's a real nice looking coyote. Let's see if we can't spot some of these here. There's a female. Female and a nice six bedded out there. A nice six. That coyote is bedded right behind that doe. It appears these coyotes are actually leaving. There's a six. Two sixes out there, maybe, huh? Definitely two coyotes. Uh, we got to get a little bit closer. We're talking about 350 yards right now. And we want to go for a 300 yard shot to see if we can, in fact, make an awesome drop shot on a coyote. Got some white tail right there. Okay, so those coyotes just bedded down as well. That's fine. This one is getting up. And so is that one. I don't know why, but that's gonna make for a difficult shot. Okay, well, we gotta go for a walking shot here. 320 yards. There's our six. Which one is he? He's the one on the bottom. Smoked him! That's what I'm talking about! Didn't drop him, but definitely smoked him. I mean, he only went like 25 yards and then piled up. Plus, he was walking as well, so it was a very, very difficult shot. Yep, right there. So we took the shot there, and our coyote went 20 yards, then piled up right here. For a 300-yard shot, that is not bad, and actually did get a double lung shot. Holy, is that impressive. Wow. Wow. I'm talking, you would have taken that shot before with the 223, and you probably would have gotten a no organs hit. But now we're getting double lung shots at 320 yards. Wow. But there we go. So now we know we can take up to a 320 yard shot with the 22 to 50 and get an awesome hit on the coyote. I'd love to try and get a shot at like 150 or even, you know, around 100 yards and see if we can in fact drop a coyote because something tells me we just might be able to. Unfortunately, we tried to get those coyotes from before and messed up all three of those shots. <laughs> but uh, sometimes that happens. Oh, we got him spun around here. Now he's coming back in. We got him. Threw a couple of intestine hits into that one. The first one did go down. Or did it go down? It just did right now. That one's already at 0%. And that should help take it down. All right, yeah, here we go. One, two, three coyotes down here. We reserved for 80 and he was coming at us. We shot a little bit high and that's why we didn't get lung. So that makes sense. And then this one, we actually didn't get lung either. I mean, it took him down pretty quick considering we didn't even get vitals. And then we hit this thing in the intestine two times. Well, he's 100 yards out, but he's not exactly stopped. He is moving. Oh, oh, did you see that? No. He stopped for half a second at about 120 yards. We squeeze the trigger and he just crumbled. Straight to the ground. What a shot. And I guess now we know the 22250 can in fact drop a coyote at about 100 yards. Looks like it was for surely a vital hit. And he's laying right here. Let's take a look at that shot. Stomach, liver, and lung shot. 116 yards. 
And it dropped him. That is what we've been waiting for right there. Wow. That penetration is phenomenal. Went all the way through the opposite lung and came out the other side. Right there. Look at that. That's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. All right. Well, let's see if we can't get a double lung shot at about 150 yards this time. Broadside. Well, I'm trying to find a coyote out here. I really am, but they're so difficult to find at this point. And we found a couple of javelina. So we're going to go for this really nice level 4 out here. At about 130 yards with the 22-250. Beautiful shot. Dropped him right there. There we go. So it might not be a coyote, but that was quite impressive. All right, let's see how we did. Ended up getting a running double lung spine shot and a 116 gold. Perfect shot on the run, and it's a nice dark brown as well. Yeah, we just did that. I don't know if you guys are watching or not, but uh, that was about as Texas hard shot as you can possibly get right there. We dropped that javelina running 20 yards out with the recurve bow, and we got an intestine lung liver shot. Look at that shot. All right, here we go. We've been tracking this coyote for quite a ways now, and he's headed right to the middle of this crater down here. All we got to do is get lucky enough to figure out where he's going to cross. We got tracks right there, tracks right in front of us here. So he should be right down on the bottom, right? He didn't cross yet. Oh my God, there he is right there. There he is. It's a big seven, a big seven, finally. All right, here we go, guys. He's a hundred yards out. Now we can be patient. He should slow down. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on him and watch what he does. Holy, he just absolutely bolted, but then he slowed down a little bit. Okay, so we're good. He's slowing down. All right, guys, so we last saw him go into this thicket right here, and yeah, we could have taken a trotting shot, but I'd rather take a nice standing still shot. We want to try and go for a double lung shot and see if we can get a nice drop shot with the 22-250 on the coyote. But anyways, he went in that brush right there, and there's actually an outpost right behind it over there so that's not a bad situation but i would say he's probably somewhere around here right now and he may pop through that opening over there but if he doesn't we're gonna work our way over there slowly and see if we can't spot this coyote there he is there he is there he is there he is oh my god there he is oh my god He's actually slowed down, finally. Okay. We may have to take a trotting shot. I really don't want to, and I feel like he should slow down by the time he makes it all the way up to the top of that hill. But at the same time, we've been tracking this coyote for so long that I just don't think it's worth waiting for him to slow down and then all of a sudden just start speeding up again like he did last time. So he's 138 yards. If we could pull off a walking double lung shot, that'd be pretty epic. Or a back of the neck shot and freaking drop him. But I'll tell you one thing, with the AR-223 before, even with a neck shot, you are not going to be getting them. And they're definitely not going to drop on the spot like that. I'll tell you that. Alright, there's our coyote down right there. Big ol' level 7, and it looks like a pretty good vital hit. It's very difficult to tell because it's like half in the hill and half um, not in the hill. But it is, in fact... A lower neck shot, 51.18 gold. 
Yep, our shot was a little bit far forward, but honestly, if we were a little bit further back, we would have definitely had double lung. Um, you guys already saw, we did in fact get a walking liver lung intestine shot at 150 yards, so it will definitely drop him. But you can also get a vital hit at 350 yards. We got a, I think it was a lung, just straight lung shot, yeah, at 330 yards which was awesome as well. And now we took a 168 yard perfect neck shot and drop this nice male coyote. All right, guys, there we go. We finally got eyes on a coyote and this thing is about 150 yards out. Now he's actually facing kind of directly away from us, which is going to make for a bit of a difficult double lung attempt shot. Um, I think what we might try and do is maybe call a little bit, try and get his attention? Or what if we just center it and try and get spine and lung? Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my god. It's right on top of us somewhere. <sighs> oh! He was like 20 feet away. Wow. That should be double lung. Oh. Well, clearly that would have been a double lung shot. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to find out what happens with a double lung shot. We're just not going to be able to. I've tried way too many times. But you can see what it does at 150 yards on the walk. And you can see what it does at 300 yards on the walk. And you can also see what it does when you hit him in the back of the neck. Wow, that was such a perfect setup. I know we could have for surely had a single lung and spine, and yet yeah, possibly could have dropped him, but I'd rather not have that happen. But then again, in this case here, that would have been way better than what we just did, taking him at 20 yards with a 22 to 50 and hitting him in the spinal cord and dropping him right there. But anyways, yeah, this is a great coyote rifle. Fantastic. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And there we go, guys. We got eyes on our first coyote out there. There's actually a whole pack of them. We got one right there, one right there, and another one over there. And we want to make sure we get a nice broadside shot here for our first shot attempt on the coyote. Yes! 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 We dropped him on the run at about 150 yards out. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see right there. Uh, I was a little worried we might have hit high, but I don't think we did. Nah, he's laying right there. He is literally laying 10 yards away. Alright, so we took the shot right here. Uh, he's less than 10 yards away. I think we dropped him. I was also worried about that. That is going to affect how it works as well. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. A whole pack of them is going down the hill. They are all females. But this one in the back here is giving us a nice opportunity. Okay, well, we didn't drop him, but I mean, he didn't go 20 yards and then piled up. So, I mean, maybe went 15 yards and piled up. Let's see if we did get double lung. So we only did, in fact, get a single lung. That's, uh, you know, that's not bad. 
to be expected. Quartering away like that, we only got a single lung, like... We hit it perfect, but with that angle, you really couldn't get double lung, so... Uh, we'll have to try a broadside shot once and see what happens. 